morning, guten morgen, weekend in umaga, bonjour. So, um, I'd like to um, reiterate and expand on what I was saying in my video yesterday. Um, the portion about study to show thyself approved. Now, most people would believe that that means um, taking many different, possibly taking many different versions of his word, like the New Translation, New International, um, King James Version, just different versions and reading um, from different Bibles and uh, perhaps going into um, translation of, you know, the Greek words. What does this word mean in Greek? And I'm not saying that it's not a good idea <clears throat> to... Um, to do things like that, but people are very two-dimensional and just look at it as this is what I'm going to do. This is this is what I believe studying to show thyself approved means. And um, I'm just sharing my own testimony here. So I'm not a teacher. I'm not asking anyone to follow me. Don't follow me. I'm walking out my walk with the Lord. You know, I'm just trying to plant a good seed of the things the Lord shows me and you work out your own salvation. So part of studying to show thyself approved uh, I'll use the example of the scripture, Ephesians 6, 12. When you realize that the real battle, the real battle that's taking place is the spiritual one. You know, it's not the fictional stage of what's happening in this world. What they're telling you is happening which is all lies because this is Satan's system. He's the father of lies. So you know um, not to pay attention to whatever they say. Okay. Um, that's part of analyzing a situation, acknowledging that it's a lie and avoiding it. Okay, that's taking, you know, the scripture, Satan's the father of lies is, and there's no truth in him. So that's taking that scripture and applying it when you look around you. And you realize that this is not the Lord's kingdom here. So if it's not the Lord's kingdom and it's Satan's kingdom, then it's all lies. I'd have to say 99.999% it's all lies, okay? That there might be a little truth in there, the twisted truth, to get people to go down wrong, the wrong path um, in pursuit of whatever that twisted truth is, but it doesn't make it true. It doesn't make it like you're going the right way. There's only one way. The Lord knows the way. So, sorry, I'm not a speaker. I'm trying to stay on track here. So, Ephesians 6.12, it's like knowing that scripture is knowing how to apply it every single day and in every single situation in your life. Studying and analyzing what's before you, what the Lord is showing you, who you're interacting with, why are you interacting with these people? What What is the lesson to be learned here? Like the other day, I had um, a, 
I don't know if I call it a conversation because I didn't do most of the talking, but I had an interaction with someone who was clearly being um, led by other spirits, okay? And this person was saying bold, irrational, unsound things. And I could tell that when I say unsound, I mean when somebody gets overly emotional about something, it blinds them. It blinds them to the truth of the situation. So this person was blind to the situation and the Lord had me witness it. I didn't say much. Most of the time I say very little to nothing at all because it's better to listen and then when, when I walk away from the interaction, I talk to the Lord about it. Like what just happened? These are the things that I heard. These are the things that I saw. Um, I'm not going to say wrong, but I saw where they were being influenced by other spirits. Because again, this is a spiritual warfare. You're in a spiritual battle consistently. Thoughts that pop in your mind, you are to test spirits. Before you have a reaction, now in the medical field, when you have a reaction to a prescription, um, that's a negative thing. So rather than having a bunch of reactions immediately to the situation, I study the situation. I analyze what has been said. I try to take you know, good seeds from a situation that may not have been, you know, um, full of light and full of truth. But I'm analyzing the enemy and how the enemy works through people, through their emotions, and how people hyper-focus on things that they find extremely important but they lose sight of what's really important about having understanding and love for others. They lost sight of that. It's all about wanting to be right, in the right, and, you know, expressing their view is more important than trying to, you know, talk less and listen more and maybe get something out of it. So, when the Lord says study to show yourself approved, it's not opening up his word and just trying to figure out, you know, whatever random scripture you're trying to figure out, okay? The Lord leads you to certain scriptures. The Lord leads you to understand certain things like Ephesians 6 12 on a deeper level on a level that you know his word is your sword his word which is the truth is your sword so when you're walking around in a world that's full of lies he arms you with truth and it's up to you as a soldier in Christ, to know how to use that sword, how to best use that sword. I don't go around stabbing people with it. I don't go around cutting people up and cutting them apart because they have trouble seeing and hearing. I have a love and understanding for others. And I don't go around telling people what they should and shouldn't do. But I do speak truth from his scriptures, like when it says, listen to no man, that's not coming from Elena Starr. That's a message from the Lord. He tells you man is a liar. 
And those who do not have his Holy Spirit are liars. Most of them don't know they're regurgitating and repeating lies and that they're blind and deaf. They're all under a strong delusion. And if they knew they were under a strong delusion, we wouldn't call it a delusion. Okay? So again, it's not about opening up books and taking notes. It's about knowing how to walk out the truth that you know. I love you and God bless.